this video is about our Horn 2 system. It's called the Horn 2 Plus 2. And we've upgraded our Horn 2 system and the Horn 1 for that matter to have a second order crossover for the woofer and a first order high pass crossover for the horn. Before we just had the, set, the uh, first order high pass for the horn. Right now we've got additional added on crossover here, low pass to cross over the woofer so it does not interfere with the horn. So you can use your favorite woofer cabinet and binding post to assemble a complete speaker system using this module. This is all inclusive. It includes the woofers crossover, the horns crossover. This is a second order low pass for the woofer. It is adjustable. We can set it up the way you want, which is an adjustable crossover point, meaning that we can set it up, say, um, with a 12 inch woofer, say at 1500 hertz, uh, second order roll off, so it does not interfere with the horn. We can set the horn at 1500 hertz. We prefer to have it a little bit higher than that, around 1800 hertz, so there's less interference between the two and there's a smoother crossover point. If you have a smaller woofer and you want to go even higher, say you've got, a, I don't know, a six inch woofer and you want to roll it off at 3000 hertz, we can do that as well. We can extend this out to 3000 hertz. This would probably be around 3500 hertz or a point of your choosing. We do test everything before we send that out. So we will send you a crossover graph that show that the two can integrate properly. If in the event that you get it home and you're like, oh gosh, you know, I wish I could adjust these crossover points, you can do that. The easiest way to do it is to change out the capacitor here with a different capacitor. Larger, smaller, however you want to do that. Um, additionally, you can change the coil and you can change the capacitor. They're just held in with these zip ties. You clip that on the other side, pull the coil out, pull the capacitor out, unsolder the, the points that are easy, very easy to get to, and you can change the low pass. I don't think it's gonna be necessary. So with that said, we do have, you will have access to this part of the crossover, which is the circuitry underneath. Uh, we do have a connection diagram on the bottom. So you can change things out if you need to. And when you go to plug it in, I can show you how that's done. This goes to the amplifier. So you're going to drive the entire system with your amplifier plugged in right there. This goes to the woofer. So you can either go in through the top of the cabinet with two nice little binding posts, short wires. It's an easy path. It's not as long as going to the back. If you want to run it all the way to the back because you've got an existing cabinet, that's well as good. We'll just give you the cables you need, the length that you desire. This is an all-inclusive system. It includes the Mundorf capacitor. It includes this resistor here, and we'll give you a couple of them that adjust the L-pad. And the L-pad is basically telling you where, uh, how much sensitivity you have going to the horn. So you can turn the horn up or down make it more trouble, less trouble, however you want to adjust it. So for the most part, this is a fully adjustable system. Now, if you want custom resistors or custom capacitors, that's perfectly fine. You can either switch it out when you get it, just to unscrew this little daily bobber here and this pops right out. Same thing with the resistor, or we can do it for you. But I would advise you to get it home See, see how it sounds and then plug in the capacitor of your choice once your values are set. Now, some people have said, well, what do we do if we want to make it extremely accurate, highly accurate to make sure it's exactly where we want the crossover to be? You can do that. There's free software out there called REW and it measures speakers. You can get the microphone for like $59 from Parts Express. It's the OMM6 microphone. Um, I'm going to make a video that shows you exactly how to use it. It's a piece of cake. So you can literally, and I think this is possible, to buy this for, say, $13.95, completely inclusive. Um, you've already got the compression driver here. You've got the aluminum horn. You can switch out the compression driver later on down the road if you want. This is a very good Bama driver. It'll fit any one-inch throat. 
With that said, um, you can go ahead and uh, change out your woofer if you want out of your cabinet and adjust the crossover. But uh, basically you can have an entire system. If you play your cards right and you come in with a decent woofer that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, you could probably come in under 2K for an entire system. Not 8K, not 10K, which is what you commonly see for these types of things, but right around 2K. So let us know. We can help you pick out the woofer and the cabinet. And that pretty much wraps it up. If you have further questions, feel free to either call me or email me or visit the website at shinsetsuaudio.com and we can help you from there.